Winning the lottery once seems like a dream, but winning it multiple times? That's a story you need to hear. Let's discuss the incredible tales of lottery winners who struck gold more than once, challenging the notion of luck. Joan Ginther, often hailed as the Lottery Queen, has etched her name in the annals of lottery history with not one, but four major lottery wins, amassing over $20 million. Her story is not just about luck, it's a fascinating blend of probability, strategy, and perhaps a touch of fortune. Born in Texas, Ginther's journey into the world of lotteries began in 1993, when she first hit a $5.4 million jackpot. This initial win was just the beginning. Over the next 17 years, she would go on to win three more times. $2 million in 2006, $3 million in 2008, and a staggering $10 million in 2010. The odds of winning four times are astronomically low, which led many to speculate about her strategy. What sets Ginther apart is her academic background. She holds a PhD in statistics from Stanford University. This fact has fueled theories that she used her statistical prowess to her advantage, possibly identifying patterns or flaws in the lottery system. While the specifics of her strategy, if any, remain a mystery, her academic background certainly adds a layer of intrigue to her wins. Ginther's spending habits and current lifestyle are shrouded in mystery. She's maintained a remarkably low profile, with little known about how she's utilized her winnings. This secrecy only adds to the enigma surrounding her and her lottery success. The potential use of statistical analysis in achieving these wins is incredible. Whether it was pure luck, a mathematical approach, or a combination of both, Joan Ginther's lottery saga remains one of the most extraordinary and intriguing in lottery history. Her story challenges the conventional narrative of lottery wins being purely chance-based and opens up discussions about the role of skill and knowledge in such games of fortune. Richard Lustig's name resonates in the lottery world as a symbol of repeated success. Unlike most who dream of winning just once, Lustig hit the jackpot seven times, accumulating over $1 million in winnings. His journey from a regular lottery player to a serial winner is not just about luck, it's a story of method and persistence. Lustig's first win came in the early 1990s, but it was just the beginning. Over the years, he continued to win various lottery games, with his largest single win being $842,152.91 in 2002. Unlike many lottery winners who believe in luck, Lustig claimed to have a strategy, a method he believed was key to his repeated success. His approach was unconventional. He advised against the popular quick pick tickets, where the lottery machine selects numbers. Instead, Lustig preferred to choose his own numbers, sticking to them consistently. He believed that changing numbers in each game reduced the chances of winning. His method also involved buying as many tickets as he could afford, increasing his odds. Lustig's strategy gained so much attention that he wrote a book titled Learn How to Increase Your Chances of Winning the Lottery. In this book, he shared his insights and tips, though they were met with skepticism by statisticians who argued that each lottery draw is an independent event. With his winnings, Lustig indulged in some of life's luxuries. He purchased a Harley Davidson and a Jaguar, symbols of his newfound wealth. But it wasn't all about lavish spending. He also invested in his son's music career, showing a desire to support his family's dreams. Whether his method was truly effective or if he was just extraordinarily lucky is a topic of debate. However, his repeated success and his conviction in his strategy make his story one of the most intriguing in lottery history. His approach, combining consistency and a belief in his method, sets him apart from the typical narrative of one-time jackpot winners. Stefan Mandel's story in the lottery world is nothing short of a financial thriller. This Romanian-Australian mathematician didn't just win the lottery, he cracked it, not once, but in astonishing 14 times, including a massive $27 million jackpot. His journey from a struggling economist in communist Romania to a multi-millionaire lottery winner is a tale of brains over luck. Mandel's strategy was rooted in mathematics and an understanding of lottery systems. He developed a complex but legal formula that helped him predict winning numbers. 
His approach was based on a simple yet audacious idea. If you play every possible number combination, you can't lose. But executing this plan was not easy. It required significant financial backing. To fund his ambitious plan, Mandel turned to investors. He convinced them to pool their money, which he then used to buy every possible lottery combination. This strategy was not only ingenious, but also incredibly labor-intensive. It involved purchasing millions of tickets, a task that Mandel and his team executed with precision. His most famous win came in 1992, when he scooped a $27 million jackpot in the Virginia Lottery. By this time, Mandel had perfected his system, and his win was the culmination of years of planning and mathematical calculations. After his big win, Mandel's life took a turn towards tranquility. He moved to a tropical island, choosing to live a quiet life away from the limelight. This move reflected his desire for peace and stability, a stark contrast to the high-stakes world of lottery gaming he had mastered. Stefan Mandel didn't rely on luck or chance. Instead, he used his mathematical prowess to outsmart the system. Jerry and Marge Selby's story is a tale of how a retired couple turned a unique insight into a lottery-winning strategy. Living in Ever, Michigan, Jerry, a former factory manager with a penchant for numbers, discovered something intriguing about a new lottery game called Windfall in Massachusetts. The game had a unique feature. When the jackpot reached $5 million without a winner, the prize money cascaded down to lower-tier winners, a phenomenon known as a roll-down. Jerry, with his keen mathematical mind, realized that during these roll-down weeks, the odds of winning were significantly in the player's favor. Armed with this knowledge, Jerry and Marge started their venture. They formed a betting group, GS Investment Strategies LLC, inviting friends and family to invest. They would buy hundreds of thousands of dollars worth of tickets during roll-down weeks. Their strategy was not a secret. They were transparent about their method, which was entirely legal. Their efforts paid off handsomely. Over nine years, the Selbys won several lotteries worth millions of dollars. They didn't splurge on extravagant lifestyles. Instead, they used their winnings to support their family, help their children with their businesses, and reinvest in their lottery group. Their story became even more public when it was featured in a 2018 Huffington Post article showcasing their unique approach to the lottery. The Selby's success wasn't just about the money. It brought them joy and a sense of adventure in their retirement years. They traveled to Massachusetts to buy tickets, turning their lottery participation into road trips and a way to spend time together. Jerry and Marge Selby's journey with the lottery is a unique narrative in the world of chance and luck. It demonstrates that sometimes it's not just about luck, but also about seeing and seizing the right opportunities. Calvin and Zatera Spencer This couple from Portsmouth, Virginia have achieved something almost unheard of. They won three major lottery prizes in just one month. Their winning streak began in March 2014. The first win came from Powerball, where they secured a $1 million prize. But the Spencers' luck didn't stop there. Shortly after, they won two more significant prizes. Their second win was from the Virginia Lottery's Pick 4 game, bagging them 50 grand. The third, an astonishing $1 million win, came from the $100 million cash extravaganza scratch-off game. What makes the Spencer story intriguing is their approach to playing the lottery. They were consistent players, often participating in various games. Their choice of games seemed strategic, as they often opted for those with better odds or higher payouts. This approach, coupled with an incredible stroke of luck, led to their remarkable winning spree. With their newfound wealth, Calvin and Zatera made some significant changes in their lives. They purchased a new home and cars, a dream for many. Beyond these purchases, they also made wise investments, ensuring that their lottery windfall would have a lasting impact on their future. The Spencer story caught the attention of many, not just for the rarity of winning three times in a month, but also for their positive and humble attitude towards their fortune. They expressed gratitude and excitement with each win, often repeating their catchphrase, we're not finished yet, indicating their continued participation in lottery games. Their experience stands out in the lottery world, 
where stories of repeated wins are scarce. Calvin and Zatera Spencer's journey through their lottery wins is a blend of consistent participation, choice of games, and an extraordinary run of luck, making their story one of the most unique and inspiring in lottery history. Terry Splon, a regular lottery player, achieved the extraordinary feat of winning two major jackpots within the span of just two years, a rarity even among the luckiest of lottery participants. Splon's first stroke of luck occurred when he won a significant jackpot. However, what makes his story truly remarkable is that he managed to replicate this success just two years later, winning another major jackpot. This second win solidified his status not just as a lucky individual, but as someone who seemed to have a unique knack for winning. One of the key strategies that Splon adhered to was his belief in playing at the same store. He was convinced that consistency in where he purchased his tickets played a role in his luck. This belief, while not grounded in any statistical evidence, worked wonders for him. It's a common superstition among lottery players to stick to a specific routine or habit, and in Splon's case, this routine appeared to be a winning one. Despite his incredible luck, Splon has chosen to maintain a private life, keeping details about his spending and current lifestyle under wraps. This discretion is not uncommon among lottery winners, who seek to avoid the public eye and the potential pressures and pitfalls that come with newfound wealth. While the odds of winning the lottery remain astronomically low, Splon's experience serves as a reminder of the unpredictable and often inexplicable nature of luck. Melvin Wilson's journey in the lottery world is a remarkable story of persistence and luck. A retired postal worker, Wilson managed to defy the odds not once, but four times, accumulating over $2 million in winnings. His story is a fascinating glimpse into the life of a man who turned lottery playing into an art form. Wilson's first win came as a pleasant surprise, but it was just the beginning. He didn't rest on his laurels. Instead, he continued playing, believing in the power of persistence. This belief paid off handsomely, as he went on to win three more times, each win adding significantly to his fortune. His repeated success has made him something of a legend in lottery circles, showcasing that sometimes, consistency and a never-give-up attitude can yield unexpected results. Unlike many lottery winners who splurge on extravagant lifestyles, Wilson chose a different path. He invested in a new house, a practical and long-term asset. Additionally, he extended his good fortune to his family, helping them with his winnings. This approach reflects a grounded and family-oriented mindset, focusing on stability and support for loved ones rather than indulgence in luxury. Wilson's strategy was simple yet effective. Keep playing. He didn't rely on complex systems or algorithms. His method was based on the belief that regular participation increased his chances of winning. While statistically each lottery ticket has an independent probability, Wilson's repeated wins suggest that sometimes the most straightforward strategies can be surprisingly effective. His approach to lottery winnings, focusing on practicality and family, sets him apart from many other winners. It's a reminder that while winning the lottery is a matter of luck, what you choose to do with that win can be a matter of principle and character. Michael Baines, known for his multiple wins, including two significant jackpots. Baines' approach to lottery playing, coupled with his investment decisions, paints a picture of a man who not only dreams big, but also acts wisely. Baines, a regular lottery player, has often spoken about the power of positive thinking and how visualizing success can actually lead to real-life wins. This mindset, while not scientifically proven to influence lottery outcomes, certainly provided Baines with the optimism and persistence needed to continue playing the lottery regularly. But definitely, the wins are not due to the law of attraction. His financial decisions following his wins are as noteworthy as his wins themselves. Baines chose to invest a significant portion of his winnings in real estate, a sector known for its potential for long-term growth and stability. This move demonstrates a strategic approach to managing his windfall, ensuring that his luck at the lottery translated into sustained financial security. Additionally, Baines indulged in purchasing a new car, a decision that blends the joy of spending on luxury with the practicality of owning a reliable vehicle. 
This balance between enjoying the fruits of his wins and making prudent investment choices highlights a sensible approach to wealth management. Michael Bain's journey is about the power of a positive mindset, the importance of persistence, and the wisdom in making smart investment choices. Raymond Moyer and Robin Collier's story is a fascinating example of how regular participation and a positive outlook can sometimes lead to extraordinary outcomes in the world of lotteries. This couple's journey from regular players to winners of a share of a massive $414 million Mega Millions jackpot is nothing short of remarkable. Moyer and Collier, like many lottery enthusiasts, believe in the power of regular participation. They consistently played the lottery, a habit that eventually lent them to their monumental win. Their story underscores a common theme among many lottery winners, the blend of hope, consistency, and a bit of luck. While the odds of winning the lottery are slim, their story shows that regular participation can sometimes beat the odds. Their approach to spending their winnings was both practical and forward-thinking. Upon receiving their life-changing sum, Moyer and Collier made some significant purchases, including a new house and cars. These purchases reflect a natural desire to enjoy the fruits of their newfound wealth, providing comfort and a sense of achievement. However, their financial decisions went beyond immediate gratification. Moyer and Collier also focused on investing in their future. This aspect of their spending shows a keen awareness of the importance of managing their windfall responsibly. By investing a portion of their winnings, they ensured that their fortune would not only provide for their current needs, but also secure their financial future. Raymond Moyer and Robin Collier's experience serves as an intriguing case study in the world of lottery winners, highlighting the importance of hope, consistency, and smart financial decisions. Their journey from regular players to multimillionaires is a compelling narrative that captures the essence of what it means to transform luck into lasting prosperity. Mark Gardner's story is a captivating tale of friendship, intuition, and extraordinary luck. His journey from an ordinary individual to a multi-millionaire lottery winner, particularly his 22.5 million pound jackpot win, is a narrative that resonates with the dreams of many. Gardner's strategy for playing the lottery was unique in that it was rooted in partnership and intuition. He teamed up with a friend to buy lottery tickets, a decision that not only doubled their chances but also strengthened their bond. This collaborative approach to lottery playing is a refreshing deviation from the more common solitary pursuit of lottery wins. It highlights the value of sharing not just the financial burden of purchasing tickets, but also the excitement and anticipation that comes with each draw. His belief in luck and intuition played a significant role in his lottery journey. Gardner's story underscores the unpredictable nature of lotteries, where sometimes a gut feeling or a stroke of luck can lead to life-changing outcomes. This aspect of his win adds a layer of mystique and charm to his story, illustrating that sometimes the most unexpected strategies can lead to the biggest rewards. The way Gardner chose to spend his winnings reflects a blend of personal enjoyment and strategic investments. He indulged in luxury cars, a common aspiration for many lottery winners seeking to enjoy the finer things in life. However, his financial decisions went beyond mere extravagance. Gardner also invested in businesses, demonstrating a keen sense of entrepreneurship and a desire to grow his wealth further. Moreover, the generosity he showed towards his lottery partner is noteworthy. Sharing his winnings with the person who embarked on the lottery journey with him speaks volumes about his character and values. These winners share a common thread of persistence and strategic thinking. Whether it's through calculated strategies, consistent participation, or a deep-seated belief in their own fortune, these individuals have defied the odds more than once. These narratives not only entertain, but also inspire us to consider the broader implications of luck and to think out of the box.